Hello. Um, as you know, I am back and also, uh, forgot to say it, but happy new year. Um, I know I didn't really make that much content or anything like that during the new year. I didn't have a top 10 figures of 2022. I didn't have, I'm planning on making a video based on the movies I've seen in 2022. There won't be like a top 10 ranking considering it'd be really hard in my opinion. And most of the movies I've seen are mainly rewatched older movies rather than the newer stuff. So bear with me alongside the fact that um i don't have i didn't really plan everything so yay i i need to plan everything so hopefully i can not only just get the video out of all the movies i've seen in 2022 maybe there might be a trailer edit coming in which is what i'm planning and there will also probably and i mean probably be a top 10 figures of this of 2022 so then yeah, but anyways, here's a review that I teased in my Godzilla Final Wars review, and that is the Marvel Select Carnage. This is not the Ultimate version, and this is not the Disney Store exclusive version. This is the original, I think, 2015, I believe, figures released, so yeah, it's kind of old, so bear with me. So, um, here's the figure... Here's the box. Of course, they had those licensed product things that I always see with Marvel Select. Kind of bores me at the time, but you see there's the logo with Carnage, Carnage himself. The box has been through storage troubles, so that's why the box is absolutely butchered. I also have to open it in a way. Here's a side profile of Carnage from, like, the comics. Nothing on the other side. It's just a clear backing and then on the top nothing same with the bottom but then once we move to the back we get a brief description of carnage himself from from the comic and if you want to and hopefully you can take a screen take a quick little pause to read this and then we have over here figures from this line we have the more photos and, of course, interchangeable parts alongside two figures that I don't have and I don't think I'll get. Zombie Magneto and Cable, Diamond Select, and a UPC proof of purchase. So anyways, let's get to the review of one of my personal favorites during 2021. Let's go, shall we? Goofy off pose. Not gonna lie, this is really goofy. Anyways, let's actually go to the size comparison. Here we go with the paint and the sculpt on this figure. I think the paint on the sculpt on this figure is really well done. Marvel Select does a really good job with their figures. I think a lot better than Legends in some ways. So, and considering the fact that this figure is released in like, what, 2014, 2015? This is really well done. You can see most of the detail is painted but also sculpted on at times you could see in some aspect but let's start off with the head now this as much as they will say the paint is good the cletus head oh boy when you compare that to the marvel legends one which i'll do that in the side in the photo gallery this is kind of eh it's okay it's not the greatest i do like how the red is shown on camera it looks better on camera, but it's also better in real IRL. You can see the sculpted details such as the tendrils pretty much ripping away from his face. And then moving to the arms, they're just sculpted, the black lines and whatnot. And there are some painted sculpt. There is a nice sort of burned texture, similar to that of Freddy Krueger, I'm not going to lie, with the uh, hands here. And as you know, this Carnage actually broke his little finger claw here. He also has these finger claws, which I think makes him even more unique. Alongside with this, and they're not just the same hand, but you have this longer one. And I think that looks really awesome. Um, I don't know why the claws aren't painted, but I think it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that in the comics. But as you know, again, this figure, he was in a luggage and... Uh, his claw broke not out of the box. It's just I brought him on a trip and his claw broke 
But as you see, there's a lot of painted sculpt. There's a lot of sculpted detail here with all the cracks and crevices alongside all the black linings and whatnot. And there's a lot of cracks. And yeah, look at that ass. Look at that. Look at that cake. But look at that. It's nicely well done. And it's just, man, this is such a good figure. And let's move on to the accessories, which I think is the highlight of this figure. Not as much as like Venom. Venom was packed, but this is good enough. Besides just this head, we also have an ultimate carnage head, which doesn't have any painted teeth, which kind of bothers me. But man, that looks really, really well done, really well sculpted and painted alongside the inner workings of his mouth. And then most of all, and this is where I display him in, the classic look, which I think this is awesome. Um, I like the mouth a lot here more compared to that of the Marvel Legends one. It's just, this one just looks nice. And even has that sort of modern aesthetic with, and how it just goes really well with the colors. Not only just that, but he also has two accessories with that of his axe or blade thing. And then this little sword or wrist blade sort of thing. This is like a sword. And then we have this axe-ish thing. And they go on really well. However, they might be a little tight. But most of all, and this is where you might lose a lot of accessories, the tendrils. You get four bendy wire flexible of these guys. And then you get, I think, a, multi a few small ones and some larger ones to go on his back. Hence why there's some parts on this figure where there's a little hole in it. Where, for example, there is a hole. There's two holes right here on his arms, a few, one on his shoulder, and a lot more on his back. So, yeah. So overall, in terms of paint, this is arguably way better than that of the Legends. It is also maybe a little better than that of the Marvel Select Venom. And also is just a lot of fun. Also has some really good um, accessories. While they're not as great as Venom, whereas Venom had that giant madness Venom look to him that you could place on his back, at least he doesn't come with too many hands. And actually also, let's move on to another segment, has actually good articulation, which we'll talk about right now. As mentioned before, this figure, for me, in terms of articulation, is better than that of Venom. Because Venom, he wouldn't get the, like something like this, or this, or this even. And I'll show that later on with the size comparison. But yeah, he wouldn't get that. And I'm glad that Carnage is able to improve all those issues from that figure. So, for example, his head, I feel like it has a lot more range. So you can look up. Not that much, but down. You can look up and down. Not that much, though. Arms can go 360. No, that's actually normal for that. Um, you can The arms can go in and out. So, yep. He only has, he has a bicep swivel over here alongside a double-jointed, well, not a double-jointed, but a single-jointed elbow. But also works way better. You get a, not only just a swivel, but a hinge, a hinge in this hand. So now it makes it look a little cooler. So I'm, and I really want to do the one with the spectacular Spider-Man. So yeah. And moving to another thing that I like more than the other Venom, than Venom, Carnage actually has diaphragm articulation and waist articulation. The diaphragm gets him into really good looking poses. And then the waist also adds to that too. But just look at that. Look at that pose. And then, because now you can make him look really far down with the ab crunch. So yeah, like that. Moving on to his legs. The only, I say, QC issue I have with this figure is the legs can look like they're about to snap because like they hold in one place for a moment. And then I have to put a little less, pre little a little amount of pressure just to make sure the legs would go back down. And... They're a little loose, but not too much, at least the knees. Kicks can go up and back. Not that much, though. A good amount of spread, though. 
And he also has not a thigh swivel, but this weird looking thigh. He has a thigh swivel, but it's a weird looking one. But then again, here's another thing that I appreciate more about the Carnage here than Venom. Double jointed knees. Finally, not those crappy single jointed knees. It's double jointed, finally. And then he has a pivot, or he has a toe joint over here, is a foot joint over here, but it also pivots. So it's like, finally, this figure can properly stand. Now, posability may be a little limited, but honestly, it works really well for this figure. He scales well, he poses well. He he's poses well, and he very much scales well. And what I mean by scales well, well, I'll show you that in the size comparison soon, but... In terms of articulation, I like it. In terms of comparing him to Venom, I liked it. Now, other Legends, I don't think this is just as poseable as that of the Marvel Legends. But honestly, I just can't help but have fun with this one. A little more than the Marvel Legends one. So anyways, let's move on to that promised size comparison. Edge stands at a rough almost 8 inches. That is insane. And here's what I mean. And here's some comparisons right now with this figure. A similar sort of comparison. Here is the Marvel Select Carnage compared to that of the Renew Your Vows Spider Man and the original Bucky Cap mold Carnage. And I basically just repainted them to basically be Carnage from the amazing, from the Ultimate Spider Man 2 game. But yeah. See what I mean? That this guy, in my opinion, is better. I know this is a custom, but the plastic on it was not the greatest. And I feel like just compared to this, even with my custom modifications, I just like this one way more. And then, to another comparison. A comparison between the Spectacular Spider-Man and the original Marvel Select Venom. These are both by Marvel Select. See what I mean? Okay, this Spider-Man is good and all, but see, but look at, let's just take a look at Venom real quick. This figure is so is it, oh man it just isn't that great first of all for one you only get a single jointed elbow or single jointed knee all right then you get that for feet motion and that would be fine if the fact that one of his legs may look like it's bent and then when you try to spread them out it also comes into an issue if he wants to stand what makes this worse is that one of the playing with this this whole monster, this whole madness venom look. And it just it just makes him want to fall. And then you have these terrible joints where it's just a swivel. And then you have the ab crunch that th there's nothing. So honestly, I like but I like the improvements they made with Carnage. But let's go over the reason as to why I bought this thing. As to why I bought this Carnage. So mainly I bought this Carnage for one thing only, and that was to basically get him for my new, for my other Venom, and that was the Monster Venom figure. So, well, not the Monster Venom figure, the Movie Venom figure. And as I already showed you, here is Carnage compared to Movie Venom. I was thinking they would be the same size, but if you crouch Carnage down a little bit, he is the same size as Venom. So... Let me explain why I got this figure. I mainly got this figure for the fact that I just wanted, considering that this was during the time that Venom 2 was out, I was like, okay, you know what? I feel like I wanna get a new Carnage, even though I had this version. So I I was looking for one and there was, and specifically I wasn't looking for this. I was looking for the Venom Pool Wave version. But I did not find it. As a matter of fact, I think during that time it was a little too late for the fact that the movie already released, so the figure's price would be high up. So, yeah, the figure's price was high up, and I didn't get that figure. But then I was thinking, why not just get the Marvel Select? And honestly, I'm more satisfied that I got this. I know the Marvel Legends Absolute Carnage is probably one of the better... Marvel Legends version of Carnage, but honestly, I'm so happy with this. It scales really well with Venom. Sure, you may not be as articulated as Venom, but for a Carnage for the movie, I think this is good enough. 
All right, let's move on to the final thoughts and the photo gallery. So note, if you want to be careful, be careful that peg. I feel like it could break at any moment if you just put so much pressure on it. I suggest probably putting hot water or some sort of, or just hair dry the joint to make sure you get some good Arctic or so you could put the heads on easily. Anyways, now let's move on to my final thoughts. So overall, buy now, skip or just kind of skip because in reality, this figure is really old. Uh, this figure is really good. Now, if I'm now I still wish I could have made a video of the figures of the top 10 best figures of 2021, but I didn't do that. So, but if this figure, but if I did, this figure would crack the top, would be cracking the top 10. For me, I feel like he is the best carnage I ever got. He's a great figure. He's nicely po. He's a good carnage in terms of posability in some ways. Well, mainly because of in terms of like sculpt and paint, this is probably the best one I've known. Um, accessories, I think, for the standard Marvel like American companies, I think it's a really good like array of accessories. Only competing to that of the Monster Venom version. And honestly, I think as well in terms of scale, if you're getting this for either a Spider-Man or for, especially for how I bought it, I got this for mainly the movie Venom, then I think the scale works really well with this figure. So overall, again, I highly recommend it if, and I mean, this is a big if, if you can find this thing. This figure, I feel like is one of the more hard to find Marvel Selects, maybe alongside Venom. So be warned so to probably pay the high price tag or if you can find a good deal on the figure in general but overall my rating on this figure i will give it a solid probably a solid solid 8.2 out of 10. i know absurd rating i know but honestly i don't i want to like don't stop rating things like eight and a half or something like that because i feel like i give it too high so anyways um, thanks for watching, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and enjoy the photo gallery, and I'll see you guys in the next time, which hopefully I can get more stuff done. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.